Hey guys, sorry for the band-aid. One of my fake nails ended up breaking and broke the nail underneath it and it's still healing so I've got a band-aid on it. Um, but as you can see in this video, we're doing a sit down video in front of the Christmas tree. So it must be a Christmas related video. I know it's only in November, uh, beginning of November when you're seeing this, but I wanted to get these ideas out to you um, so you could use it if you're like looking for ideas for loved ones or kids in your life. Uh, maybe they aren't your kids, maybe they're grandkids, nieces, nephews, friends, children, anything like that. Um, so I thought I would show you, well, tell you, I'm gonna insert photos of things that I think are the best gifts or gifts that we've had in our lives, that we've bought, toys we've bought, that my kids have enjoyed throughout the years from ages one to teen years because I did raise two little girls for a few years back in 2017, 2018. If you guys remember watching me way back then before Cooper was born, my oldest, and then I also had a stepson that was almost a teenager. So I have a good variety of things here between girls and boys. I only have two children, but I did raise three that weren't my own at one point in time. So I thought I would kind of add those in and remember the things that they really enjoyed and I thought this would help out a lot. So I think we're gonna start with like newborn and like one year old and then we'll move to the toddler stage and move up. So for newborns, they're kind of hard to shop for, especially also one year olds. Um, but I do have some favorites that my kids have gotten over the years. And one of those is both of my boys have had it. It's a camping high chair. I'll insert a picture of it now. They are great for any, like if you have family members that you go to often, stay the night or go for dinner and they don't have a high chair at their house, it's a good one to have at your house. It folds up very small, does not take up much space at all. You can fold it up when you're not using it, put it in the car or in the closet. It just, you can use it at home. And then you can also use it if you go out camping. They have some with like the canopy on top of them. They're just a really good alternative and they're not a huge bulky high chair and most of them are under $30. The next thing both of my babies have loved when they were newborns were, or like six month range, were the little Disney on the go activity toy. They basically hang on the car seat and it gives them something to do. We always kept multiple in the house so that way we could like switch them out because they do get bored with the same one, but you can also just get like Walmart, Target brand. Um, we'd switch them out every few weeks and just rotate them and it was like a new toy to them. The only other things for babies is they do have a toy and it's basically like a tissue box but they sell a soft version of it and they can pull the um, tissue out and they're like different textures. They're really good for sensory um, learning to pull things. They're a really good educational toy for babies. They're not st overstimulating. They're just a really good toy to kind of work on those fine motor skills while they're really little and you can actually find those on Timu for like four or five dollars because I bought my son, my youngest one. Um, it was the first time I had really heard about it when he was not even, I think he was like nine months old and he absolutely loved it. The only other things that I really recommend for babies is ask the parents if you are shopping for a baby what they need or what they want. Um, I always get asked that with my boys and it was my favorite thing because one, it saved me some money and they got the things they needed and I was able to use my money somewhere else or save it, whether it was diapers, wipes, new bottles, because sometimes they get nasty, little snack cups, plates, anything they're going to need in like the next six months from Christmas or that they need immediately is an amazing gift. Pacifiers, clothes in their next size or just amazing gifts and you usually can find them on really good deals. Now for the one and a half to like two year range, I actually have two toys here that my son got for his second birthday like two weeks ago and he has been nonstop playing with these two things since he got them. The first one is a balance bike. 
I got his on Timu for like $25. I just had to put it together. It was not very hard to put together at all. And it is four wheels, but they also sell three wheel ones. Um, any little ride on toy. We have a Lightning McQueen little ride on and also my five year old plays on both of these as well. Um, I like to have two in the house with having young kids because they, they fight so they can each have one to play on. And then the next thing, and the bike you can find pretty much anywhere. The next thing is this Mickey Roadster Racer thing. Um, my mom got this for Mason for his birthday. One of the things she got him and then she got him clothes. But um, this was at Walmart, she said, for under $10, like $9 and some change. And it doesn't even have to be a Mickey lover. Any kid that loves cars will absolutely love this gift. You just push the button. He talks, lights up. And he takes off across the house and then stops. And both of my boys, two and five year old, both absolutely love these. They don't really even care that it's Mickey. They just like that it goes across the house super fast. The next two items I cannot actually say out loud because I have a sneaky one walking around and it is something that both of my kids will be receiving this year. So I will just insert pictures of them so you can see what they are. But for the first one, they have tons of different options of colors and I got mine in a flea market. And the one you'll see after that that is really big, it is gonna be a gift together. And it is an amazing thing and you can find them. You don't have to get the name brand. You can find them on Amazon for under $100. The next item I recommend if you're looking for a bigger gift, whether it's for one child or you can combine it to two or three children that live in the same household, is a play kitchen. My kids got a play kitchen from Santa last year and they still love it to this day. Um, and to go along with that, they lose the pieces over time. And so it's always a good idea years after if they still are really enjoying their play kitchen to buy a new set to go with their kitchen so they can continue to play with it, but it's some different accessories that go with it. I'll insert a picture of the one that we have. It is from Sam's Club. It's the first one on the screen. And I think last year it was like 150, but right now it is marked down to $99. Ours is still in amazing condition. I've never had to change the batteries out. That is how good this kitchen is. If you are looking to invest in a nice wooden kitchen for your kids, I highly recommend the one from Sam's Club. The next toy I recommend for like that two to five age range, if not a little bit older, is some kind of toy musical instrument. Um, it really makes some creative, get some really creative and my kids have always loved them and I know a lot of other kids do as well. Sorry if you see a little bit of smoke. It's okay. It's my candle. Um, but my son got a guitar last year from Santa. Loves it to this day. Um, they also use like little sticks that go to like toy sets around the house and they be on the floor like their drums. Um, my younger son loves duck calls. He loves to just blow it and make it the sound. Little um, maracas that shake. You can usually get them pretty inexpensive and you can actually at Walmart, the Bratat brand that just came out, they have a whole set that has like cymbals, maracas and everything in there for like $20. So they're pretty inexpensive unless you're looking for something like wooden that's higher quality. And I think they make a great gift and kids love to play with them. The next thing that I think is really good is any type of craft kit, whether it's sand art, something to paint. Melissa and Doug makes really good water books, so the colors don't go all over your house. They only go to those sheets, little drawing pads, anything to get their hands moving. And they're great just to get a little bit of quiet time in the house. My two-year-old loves to color, and my five-year-old is very crafty. You can usually find craft kits like rock painting, all of those different things like Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, and they range from like seven to $20. The other thing I would recommend is any type of little play set, whether it's a pirate ship, a play barn, um, a little dollhouse, anything like that that you can get accessories to go with. 
kids love them especially if you find one that they're really interested in say they're interested in like water animals get a boat and some water animals to go with it um, if they're into farm animals get a barn with farm animals um, doll houses just get them some little dolls with the accessories with the house they are a really good gift and also you can make them yourself you can buy wood paint it put it together and just buy all the little accessories at the dollar store or in a set at walmart or target and the house will be really good because you can buy accessories for it for the next few years as your child continues to play with it. I know my kids have a few different ones on their list this year, so they are like already waiting to see if Santa brings those items for them. The next thing is binoculars, anything for exploration. My kids absolutely love binoculars. When we went to the zoo, they brought their binoculars to the zoo to look at the animals. They just, they love them and they're just good to really get out in the yard to explore with. Now on to bigger kids. I know they can be a little hard to shop for sometimes, but me, myself, I try to keep my kids kids as long as I can. And so my teen stepson I had for a while and the girls that were older, um, we got them bikes. They love bikes. My oldest has a bike. He loves it. And just upgrade their bikes as they outgrow them. And they're really good just to keep them outside and off of those electronics as much as possible. It's just really good for them to get that fresh sunlight because they obviously don't get enough of it at school. Pogo sticks, a trampoline, anything like that to keep those kids outside are really good. Um, I know one thing that my stepson absolutely loved, it's kind of a pricier item, but he got it like four or five years ago, and I know still to this day, still plays with it, and it is a um, VR headset. He got it for Christmas like three or four years ago, and like I said, plays with it 24-7. Not my favorite toy to give, um, definitely if it was my actual child. And I still lived in the household. There would definitely be time limits on it, but I know it's a very popular gift and older kids absolutely love it. Again, for my kids, there would definitely be a time limit on things like that. They don't have any type of electronics other than TV and we only play DVDs. We don't even have cable. So we try to do the least amount of screen time as we can because my kids are still young, but I know older kids, you know, they do love those tech toys and things like that. Another thing I thought of for like five to seven year olds, it's something that my son is really asking for this year is any type of RC car that has a remote control or like animals that are remote controlled. He's been really into that for the last two years. And so typically we have a few of those things on his Christmas list each year. So be waiting to see what I got my kids for Christmas to see which ones he may be getting from me this year. Another thing for older kids, if you're not wanting to spend a ton of money, but you still want to get them something, older kids have favorite snacks and drinks, whether it's the most popular prom, the most popular spicy hot chips, pick up those favorite things and make a super cute gift basket with maybe a little $10 gift card in there. And I know older kids would absolutely love that because older kids like to have money to spend on their own. And so it's also a nice gift to give them because you can take them and you can have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time to spend with them and they can pick out the things that they love. The next thing on my list goes back to younger kids. They're just so much easier to shop for. It is any type of dress up stuff. After Halloween, you can typically get costumes under like 50% off. They're like 50% off to 60% off, depending on how long you wait, if there's anything left. But I know also Walmart, Target, discount stores like Mar uh, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington sell little trunks um, that have costumes in them that are either like PJ Masks, Mickey Mouse, Ninja Turtles, things like that. And little kids, especially my five-year-old and my two-year-old love dressing up and they're a really good way to get them creative and working with their imagination. Now going back to the older kids, Nerf guns are super fun, little play bow and arrows. My five-year-old is already into those, but I do know that older kids absolutely love them as well. And typically if you're watching like Amazon, they have really good deals on on some. There is one that I am currently eyeing for a Christmas gift this year on Amazon, and it is gonna be super fun if I'm able to get it. So I'm really excited for that. 
Also for kids, any kind of kid, you can get them new bedding, things that they can use, um, but they also get really excited because they can change out their old room decor. And it's always exciting, like I get excited if I get new bedding or new things for my kitchen, and kids do as well. Um, so any of their favorite character, or maybe a pillow pet that they can actually use as a stuffed animal and as a pillow. They have Disney ones called Disney Snugglies and those are on my kids Christmas list this year. They're like $29 at Target and they're basically a stuffed animal, but at bedtime you can use them as a pillow and my kids love those things compared to regular pillows. It just makes bedtime so much more fun. Now for older girls, um, again, teen boys, anything electronic, they love it. I remember when I was younger though, I loved like makeup sets, just for teen girls if you're looking for some ideas. Makeup sets that they can kind of try out different things that they're interested in, whether it's different colored lipsticks, face, foundation, uh, whatever you're comfortable with gifting your child or that parent is comfortable gifting. You gifting to that child, I think it'd be a really great gift. I always loved getting new clothes and shoes for Christmas when I was older. I mean, you got a whole new outfit in your wardrobe and it was super fun to have a new outfit like clothes and shoes on Christmas day. I remember every year we got new clothes, which is why I passed it on to my kids. And I always got super excited to be able to wear it Christmas day wherever we went. I spe specifically remember getting a foot bath for Christmas. I've always been really into nails. I kind of go in and out of the phases, but a foot bath, they're like at Walmart, you put your foot in it, add the water in, and it's super warm water and it bubbles up. And I loved that as a kid. If I still had that to this day, I would definitely use it. I may actually go and buy myself one, but I remember when I was like 15, I got one and absolutely loved it. I also one year got a name brand purse because I was getting to where I was able to drive and I had picked up a part-time job after school. And so if your children show that they're very responsible, like my kids, they would never get a name brand stuff like that right now, just because they get so many new toys every Christmas because by Christmas, most of their toys are broken or they don't have many left because my kids play with stuff until they break. So, um, but older kids, if they show that they're responsible, I think a name brand purse or something that they're really into would be a great gift to be able to use for years to come. So that is it for my gift guide video for 2024. I'm definitely probably going to do one for women and men as well. And I may do another kid one if I have more ideas come up and pop up in my head. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you watch this video all the way to the end, make sure you leave me a comment down below telling me something that I didn't mention on my list that you think of that's a really good gift for a child or something that you're getting your child for Christmas that they are really excited for. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.